Good morning. Here's a typical morning for us. Besides that. Nothing. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? You're already awake? I know coffee seems like an average part of most everyone's day, but I've only been drinking coffee for about three or four years now. Would you believe I had four children without any coffee drinking? I was not allowed to drink coffee in my religion. And so once I left said religion, I realized, wow, I can actually drink juice from a bean that can help me to have energy to parent these four children. So best be assured that I have been drinking coffee ever since that realization. And I have even invested in some high class coffee makers. My favorite drink is a latte macchiato and I use almond milk. I have been buying the Tarani syrups. I'm using an apple pie this morning, but I've also used my pumpkin pie syrup. Listen, I know that these lunches are not the most healthy of all time. My kids are so picky. And yes, I introduced them to fruits and vegetables. They're just still extremely picky. And it's also hard when you are co-parenting because you really can't control what they eat over at the other parent's house. So you have to settle on a few neutral compromises. Here I am adding whipped cream to my coffee, but you do need to compromise. Now adding pumpkin pie syrup drizzle to my whipped cream. I'm telling you, I do not mess around with the coffee. This is an average Tuesday morning cup of joe, but you do have to compromise. Also throw in there that we have a peanut allergy situation at one of the children's schools, not the other one. And so yes, I am actually putting marshmallow cream on my child's piece of sandwich bread, and I will a top jam on top of that because he is not allowed to have any nut butter. So that cancels out peanut butter and Nutella. And I will fully admit that I fill up my children's Stanleys and other fancy water bottles because they cannot be bothered to just have a plastic bottle of water in their lunch. God forbid, yes, I probably have some divorce guilt here, but lunches are made. Wow, the bed's totally made. It's not even 7 a.m. yet. Welcome to a retired husband. Retired husband days. Wow, even the pillows are fluffed. Damn! As all moms will attest, our getting ready for the day happens in spurts throughout the morning. I do about a third of my getting ready routine. I try to get my skin routine done before I take the kids to school. Now you just need to solve all the world's problems like hunger and peace and That's you've easy. gotten so much That's done. Like and then I finish up through the morning as I'm doing a million other things like changing loads of laundry and chatting with my husband. My husband is retired now. So we talk all morning long about politics and what he wants for lunch, etc. Sometimes I'll get inspired to share a thought or idea. And so I will record a TikTok video and I will do it while I'm trying to get ready and yell at the kids to continuously be getting ready for school. Our mornings are usually quite busy with a million things moving in all different directions, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I had a little bit of extra time this morning, so I was also able to put on my SPF foundation with a little bit of the Drunken Elephant bronzing drops. Then it was time to load up. Nope, you're gonna have to wear different shoes. Sit down. Yeah. Sit. I couldn't find no, them. Sit. You have zero other shoes. Zero other shoes. But they squeeze me. You need to find your shoe then tomorrow or today when you get home from school. I don't know how you just lose shoes here.